Hello, Karen. Hello. Are you going to say hello for Marty's Garden on YouTube? Does Laurie Laura keep tell everyone that they should subscribe to YouTube? Yeah, subscribe to Marty's Garden on YouTube. And why are we here today? Because we're going to look at a mixed planting under some hoops for a biodynamic farm here. And we're going to look at what they've got planted here. Okay, so there's some parsley, there's some peas, and there's some tomatoes. Now, why are these all growing together? Well, it's actually a form of companion planting. Now, tomatoes parsley and carrots work in a combination of three and they're perfect together and a lot of these tomatoes would just be coming up through the compost and we love compost don't we Laurie Lorikeet? Yes? Do we like our worm farms too? <laughs> yeah we do and so come don't put the bird in front of the camera and we can't see and so they've got the hoops on top as well for in the winter time here um, so they can cover it over to stop frosts and things like that if it uh, ever comes into that effect. And so we've got more parsley and carrots and things growing down here. And as we go along, you can see it looks all a bit messy, but that's the whole idea of companion planting, is putting them all together and not growing in what they call a monoculture system. So what is monoculture? Well, when you plant all the plants together in one row, that's monoculture. Daddy, yes, Karen. We have to get out of here. Okay. We're going to go in a minute. And that's monoculture. And we don't want to, we want to avoid monoculture if we can because the reason being is it's not natural. Nature doesn't do it. And when you get a pest, they just jump from one plant to the next. And in companion planting style planting, the plant, the insects get confused because there's so many different scents around that once they find one plant that they like, they can't find the next one. So that's why we do it. And also there's lots of other benefits that we're gonna cover.